In this video, I am going to explain inelastic collision by giving an example. Okay, there is a truck, Mesodis and Velostodis, traveling towards the east. And there is a car, Mesodis and Velostodis, traveling towards the west. These two vehicles collide head-on. After the collision, these two vehicles stick together and become one object and moves together. It may move towards the west or towards the east. We don't know yet. We are going to calculate the common velocity. Okay, second question. Compare the total initial and final kinetic energies. Okay, before starting the calculation, I would like to give brief information on collisions. Since these two vehicles stick together after the collision, these two vehicles move with the same velocity. This kind of collision is called completely inelastic collision. In completely inelastic collision, colliding objects stick together after the collision. But there is also inelastic collision, just inelastic collision. In this case, colliding objects do not stick together after the collision. They move separately. As we know, total momentum of the system is conserved in all kinds of collision, like elastic, inelastic, or completely inelastic. As long as the net force acting on the system is zero. However, total kinetic energy conserved only in elastic collision. I have another video lesson on elastic collision. Total kinetic energy is not conserved in inelastic or completely inelastic collision. Usually decreases. In this example also decrease. The loss of kinetic energy will be maximum at completely inelastic collision. So we can start the calculation. The left side is total momentum before the collision, right side total momentum after the collision. This is the momentum of the truck, momentum of the car. This is the, since two vehicles sitting together after the collision, so it becomes one object. So M1 plus M2 we take together. Then this is the common velocity of the vehicles after the collision. Okay. Let is be positive. So in this case, if I substitute, so I don't write the units, 2600 times 5 plus 900 kilogram, then because it is west, negative 12, equal M1 is 2600 plus 900 times V prime. Again, V prime is common velocity of the vehicles just after the collision. After, when we calculate, I get 13,000. So it becomes minus 10,800 equal 3,500 100 V prime. Okay. So when we do this calculation, we get V prime equal 0 0.63 meter per second. Since the result is positive, common velocity of vehicle after the collision will be V prime equal 0 0.63 meter per second. East. After the truck and car collide, then wreck will move towards the east with this velocity. Okay, second question is to compare the initial and final kinetic energies. As I mentioned before, momentum is conserved in all kinds of collision as long as net force acting on the system is zero. So first we calculate total kinetic energy of the vehicles just before the collision. So this is the formula. Ek equal 1 over 2 m1 v1 square 1 over 2 
m2 v2 square okay so 1 over 2 2600 times 5 square plus 1 over 2 900 times negative 12 square so when I do this calculation we get 97,300 joules <coughs> this is the kinetic energy just before the collision okay total kinetic energy of the wreck just after the collision will be so this is the total mass basically this plus this 2600 plus 900 so it is 3500 kilogram so total kinetic energy just after the collision will be 1 over 2 total mass 3500 then 0 0.63 square then we get 695 joules so if kin total kinetic energy before collision total kinetic energy after the collision so if you want to find change in kinetic energy delta e k equal e k prime minus e k equal so 695 minus 97 300 then we will get negative 96 605 joules so we get negative it means total kinetic energy of the system is decreased by 96,605 so as I mentioned before total kinetic energy of the system is decreased most at completely inelastic collision 